Hello, deep and wide thinker. A few weeks ago, my kids came home with a rotary phone. And uh, this is what a rotary phone looks like if you don't know what that is. Old school phone. Now, instead of brushing it off as a that's cool moment, I felt a tug to pause and just really capture it. Right? So, in today's video, we'll explore how a simple iPhone 8 snapshot of a rotary phone sparked a handful of of insights, right? Not just note taking, but as Nick Milo would say, note making. And we'll be diving into the surprising role of AI in transforming everyday moments into meaningful notes, using tags as a personal curator for later discovery, and how the ordinary holds the richest gold for deep and wide thinking. Now, if you're new here on the channel, I really enjoy walking you through the process of how I got from just taking one single note here to a whole whiteboard of thoughts and ideas. And to do that, I like to kind of communicate the story of what happened. And as I go through the story, I'm going to pull out some nuggets that hopefully will help you in your note taking and note making journey and thinking deep and wide as well. So to start out, as I mentioned, the kids, they brought home a rotary phone that they found at the church. And I could have passed this up. Uh, but this was an opportunity for me to learn, right? An opportunity to go deep on a random rotary phone. And so the first thing that I want to point out to you is that you want to look for the ordinary things around you to learn from. There's probably at least 10 things that are around you right now that if you were to just pause and take a look at it, and look into it, do a quick Google search on who made this, why do they make it, you'll actually find a lot of gold and a lot of insight in how those things, those insights, can apply to your life now. We're going to talk about that in a second. Now, I snapped a pic of it because it looked interesting, and I haven't seen one of these things in ages, and I added it to the journal. Now, if I go over here to this rotary phone note, this is the starting note. Like, literally, I just titled it the rotary phone learn more about this phone the history i told myself what to do but in the metadata you can see that i wrote this down on september 6 right so it's it's ta it's uh it's in there in the information when actually i i wrote down this idea and when it sparked for me on september 6 i want to pause just for a moment here and give you a free gift for hanging out with me today this is a short PDF guide on how to get insights from the nonfiction books that you read and that you love into your PKM system. By the end of this guide, you'll have a simple system for highlighting your books, a mindful approach for adding content to your PKM system or PKM notes app, a process for creating building blocks of knowledge for the future, and then a simple tip for making more connections between your notes. The link to the free guide is in the description below. During my weekly review, I turned that note into a card and I tagged it with YouTube idea because I knew this was something that I could use to both learn about and also share my process with you. This is bringing up another point. So tag the things you want to look into later to easily find them. Right? For me, it's usually YouTube idea because I'm talking about these ideas on YouTube. But for you, it could be something like, you know, hashtag and, you know, it could be hashtag intriguing or hashtag interesting. And then when you go back to it, right, you go back to that tag, you can scroll through all these things that uh, interested you. Right. And again, it'll it'll bubble up once you come across it. So, for example, if I go into tags and then I go into uh, YouTube idea <clears throat> right here YouTube idea I have uh, 46 I think is what I saw so I'm currently using a Kanban Kanban however you say it kind of this these two columns right now of this is exciting this sounds exciting to me right now this is the things these are the notes that I'm like hey I want to want to talk more about this I want to look into this and uh, along the way share some insights that I found with you as I am just learning. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm documenting me learning. And so I can scroll through these ideas, right? Instructions for living a life. Pay attention. Be astonished. Tell, tell about it. There's a lot right there 
that I could go into. I could create a whole whiteboard and I know I would find some awesome insights and connections with this one quote from Mary Oliver that I had taken down. Um, and then, you know, I've got some other ideas, how to turn your brainstorms into published and shareable pieces. Walk yourself into your best thoughts. A quote from Soren. I can't pronounce that last name. Be guided by beauty. You can see here, as I as I scroll through these, and as I look through these ideas, these are just random notes um, that some of these are just going to bubble up and I'll be like, hey, I want to I want to look into that this week. I want to talk about that this week. I want to think about this. And one of those happened to be uh, for to this for this week is the rotary phone. Right. So that's where we're at. That's what we're talking about. That's how I got here with the rotary phone. All right. Now, a few weeks later, after taking down the rotary phone note, I was browsing through my YouTube ideas and came across this note and I was intrigued again and created a new whiteboard on the workbench whiteboard to start brainstorming. If you see my other videos, I talk about the workbench whiteboard. That is the idea workbench whiteboard that lives inside of the map, uh, <clears throat> the map meta app. So my workbench is where I'm working. It is where I am thinking about ideas. And so I created a whiteboard, right click, new whiteboard or inside the workbench white right click and then new whiteboard or in this case whiteboard so I dragged the rotary note onto the whiteboard right using the card command 3 card library this is where all the the, the cards that I have inside my card library are going to show up and you can click and drag onto a whiteboard and so that's what I did I dragged this on here and I started with two questions, okay? Uh, I say my first question, but it's two questions. Who and why? Who invented the rotary phone and why? And what did I do? I Googled and found some interesting info. Let's take a look here. And a text element, not necessarily a card, because I don't really need to put this in a card, uh, but who invented the rotary phone? Um, we have Alman, Al Alman, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, Brown Strauger, Stroger, um, an undertaker from Kansas City who invented the rotary dial phone. His invention was inspired by his frustration with human operators misdirecting his customers' calls. You'll notice that I have uh, this bolded right here and highlighted. Invention was inspired by his frustration. That stuck out to me. And there is a lesson there that I wanted to pull out uh, for myself and write it down for the future. And that is a question that I have is what invention is awaiting behind your frustration? Right? I created a new card and I connected it to this text element because that's where it came from and I connected it back to the source card right here, the rotary phone. And I titled it the question, what invention is awaiting behind your frustration? What is currently annoying in your life, right? Invention follows frustration. That's the key takeaway right here. The thing that is in your way of whatever goal you have is an opportunity for a creative solution. Bullet points underneath this question right here. So when I come back to it, I can look at this card and, and actually think about what, what invention is awaiting behind my frustration. What frustration do, frustration do I have right now? And because there possibly could be an invention behind that frustration, a way to make things better for myself, for others. So this is a great note um, to, for me to look back on and, and come back to. I did, uh, in the metadata here, I did uh, tag it with two things, diamond and a life of creating, uh, which is a value of mine. So I tagged it with the value of a life creating. The type of note is a diamond, meaning it is something that is my version of uh, of a note. It is something that I came up with and and so because it's a diamond it's refined and it is ready to be uh, used. It's ready to be shared, right? I can I can ask this question in conversation. I can ask this question to myself again later on. I don't really need to do a lot with it. So that's the reason it's categorized and tagged as a diamond. So then I went to GPT and I asked what are five unusual facts about the rotary phone? Let me go over here to the actual chat 
so I can show you uh, what's going on here. So I just I just simply asked where are five unusual facts. Unusual because I wanted to know things that not everybody was looking at or wrote about uh, or heard about. I just needed something that would help me spark an idea, right? So it spit back five unusual facts about the Rotary phone. Out of these five things, uh, number four was interesting to me. Okay, so uh, I, I said number four is interesting. Tell me more about why uh, they were durable and, and lasted for decades and how does that compare to phones to today? And, uh, and it spit back why rotary phones were durable. All right, now I wanted to take these five things and think about them some more. So I simply copied and pasted onto this board right here. This is a text element, not a card, because I wanted to just look at it for a little bit, study it, uh, and kind of take it apart for a, a little bit without committing it to be committing it to a, a note card right it wasn't quite there yet so I want to back up because there's something I want us to uh, to take note of and that is I like to use AI as a curator not a creator AI is great for these tasks of going out and quickly finding information for me right? And it's a it's distilled, it's condensed. I'm not looking at five thousand different results like on Google. Uh, it is a great way to curate information, but we are the creators, not not AI. All right. So I want to take what AI has given me and create with it. Use AI as a curator, not a creator. Okay. When I started looking at this right here, the first thing that I noticed was the word durable. You notice a pattern here that when I when I see something that stands out to me, I kind of dive into that for a second. So I dove into the pond of durable, which means I looked up the definition and synonyms of that. I'm a big fan of that because it helps me to see ideas in fresh ways, and it helps me to give language uh, to ideas as well. It just sparks something within me. So durable, able to withstand wear, pressure, or damage. Hard wearing, long lasting, made to last resistant. Now, made to last, that was interesting to me. So I created a, a card entitled it A Life That's Made to Last as I was sensing some life wisdom that I could glean from this rotary phone and from these facts right here. And so I created a new card. This is a new card that's titled A Life That's Made to Last. And we're going to talk about a life that's made to last and we're going to learn from a rotary phone. You see how this is kind of, this is working out to where I'm gleaning wisdom for life from a rotary phone. And, it, and it's happening inside of this context where it's a whiteboard where I can see things bumping up against each other. And I, I'm, as I'm learning about the rotary phone, I'm seeing the relation to how I live my life. Okay. Rabbit trail there. A life that's made to last. Connections here connection to the rotary phone as this is the source card uh, and there are two two of the five right here that stood out to me simple design number two and number one is sturdy materials we're gonna look at both of those the title of this note is sturdy materials what are you made of all right and so I have the uh, the rotary phones content. Uh, rotary phones are made from heavy duty materials like metal and bake light and early plastic that was extremely tough and heat resistant. The use of these materials made them highly resistant to wear and tear drops and impact. Now the first thing I did uh, in the second bullet point was look up the synonym and uh, definition that stood out to me for materials and it's inside these brackets. It's what I call the amplified method. Uh, amplified meaning the Bible or a version of the Bible has uh, these brackets where it kind of it lists a word or it tells a word and then inside the brackets it'll show you uh, what that word actually means or just kind of an explan a further explanation uh, and it kind of gives it more context. So the amplified method is being used right here where I have materials and su a synonym of that is substance. The definition is the matter from which a thing is made of. Um, and then I thought you know, your substance greatly impacts your longevity. 
what you are made of, right? A person lives long because of what they're made of. And then I had a question for myself. What area do I need to grow in to withstand the season that I'm in right now to move to the next season? With every season, you have an opportunity to grow. And the thing that you are growing in now will carry you and sustain you in the next season. Which reminded me of this quote from Chris Vallotton, which I added to the board. There is the promise and the palace, and in between is the process. And it's the process that builds the character that sustains you at the palace. Oh my gosh, brilliant quote. And so I added this, made the connection back to this note right here, and now it's inside of the metadata right here. Same with this card, I now have the relation, dirty materials, what are you made of? That connection has been made. Now, the other one was the simple design. Uh, let's take a look at that. So, the title of this is The Fewer Moving Parts in Your Life, The Longer It Will Last. Um, and the from the GPT, it says, unlike modern phones, rotary phones and uh, had very few moving parts. And most of them were mechanical rather than electronic. This meant fewer components that could malfunction. The dial mechanism was spring-loaded, and as long as it was wound up and allowed to return to its starting position, it continued to function. Very few moving parts. I don't know about you, but for me, when I read that, I was instantly drawn to it. Because it is a really a passion of mine and a goal of mine to simplify my life. Uh, so my question naturally was, uh, what can I do, do, oh wait, I think this should be how, no it's what, that's right, what can I simplify in my life, it's a question, and then what is the 20% of my life that is working towards the vision that I see, what is the 80% that I need to let go of? I'm reading a book right now called 10x is easier than 2x and so I went ahead and added that as a link. I have a, a book note already that has all these notes and then so at the end of uh, at the end of the this note right here I have all the connections. And then it made me think of this note that I created a while ago uh, you can see right here. This is a different note taking app. It may have been Notion, I'm not sure, but May of 2021 this is, if you want to see a difference, uh, subtract something. And uh, I was just, I happened to be uh, in the kitchen while the kids were doing homeschool with uh, with my wife. Uh, and I overheard them talking about subtraction and the difference, right? And, you know, the difference is what we call the answer with a subtraction problem. Subtraction causes there to be a difference, right? And so I, in my mind... I just immediately thought of less is more, right? And so when I subtract things from my life, it actually makes a difference. So if you want to see a difference, you subtract something in your life. You remove something from your life. So I wrote that down back in 2021. have had it in my notes. And now it's a part of another uh, note, another brainstorm, right? I have these connections now made. And... I'm sure there will be more connections for both of these notes, but for now, that's a really cool connection that I was able to see and think about. Hey, listen, I, I really appreciate you hanging out with me, and I hope you enjoy these videos where I'm just breaking down ideas with you. I hope you're gleaning some ways that you can also uh, create connections and create your versions of card, note cards, and notes. If you have any questions on Heptabase, visual note taking, anything like that, I'm all ears. If you have any ideas of how you are making connections, let me know. Uh, I'd love to discuss and talk about it. You can comment below. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you on the next video.